St. Paul, Minnesota, Joe Larrickson Eck completed his first NHL hat trick with a power play goal at 3.30 of overtime, and the Minnesota Wild rallied for a 6-5 win against the Winnipeg Jets at XL Energy Center on Tuesday. Erickson Eck finished off a 3-on-1 with Kirill Kaprizov and Kevin Fiala at the right post after he tied it 5-5 with 59 seconds remaining in regulation. Seconds prior to Erickson Eck's overtime goal, Cam Talbot stopped Logan Stanley's attempt on a 2-on-1 before starting the Oddman rush. They got a 2-on-1 there, and Talbs came up with a huge save for us, Erickson Eck said. We knew they were short-handed, and two guys were caught up high, and were just trying to go that way as quickly as possible, and, Fiala, and, Kaprizov, set me up really well on the back door. Just trying to get there and get open. Matt Zuccarello had two goals and two assists, Kaprizov had three assists, and Talbot made 25 saves for Minnesota, 3-0-0. Kyle Connor had two goals and an assist, Andrew Kopp had a goal and two assists, and Connor Hellebuck made 38 saves for Winnipeg, 0-2-1, which was without Captain Blake Wheeler because of COVID-19 protocol. That's a tough way to lose a hockey game, when we've got a two-goal lead there in the third, but like you said, we've got to take some positives away from it, Connor said. It was an emotional game with a lot of good things. Connor scored on a wrist shot short side from the left circle to give the Jets a 1-0 lead at 3.48 of the first period. Zuccarello responded 53 seconds later to tie it 1-1 after Jets defenseman Nate Schmidt poked a rebound to him in the right circle. Connor's second of the game made it 2-1 at 8.17. But Erickson Eck tied it 2 2 at 1840 with a wrap around on the power play. I'm just trying to be around the net, Erickson Eck said. I always say it, but that's where it usually happens for me. Just trying to create chances by hanging around there and battling those defensemen. Josh Morrissey put Winnipeg ahead 3 2 at 549 of the second period with a power play goal. Minnesota then tied it for the third time when Zuccarello was credited with the goal after Hellebuck attempted to clear the puck from his crease at 16.59. Pierre-Luc Dubois restored a 4-3 lead for Winnipeg when he scored on the power play at 4.19 of the third period, and Kopp extended the lead to 5-3 at 6.37 when he took a pass from Mark Skeffel and shot just under the crossbar. I thought we did more action around the net into the net, shots off the rush, lots of confidence shooting the puck tonight, Jets coach Paul Maurice said. Marcus Foligno cut it to 5-4 with a power play goal at 15 0-2. We wanted to win the first one at home and give our fans something to cheer about because it's been a long time without them, Foligno said. Nothing better than picking right back up with a rivalry with Winnipeg. They're always a good team and they've got a lot of good players. They're trying to play physical. They haven't had two great games, so it was important to match their intensity and that's what you get. It's a lot of fun these games playing against rivals, and it's just nice to have that back. With Talbot pulled for the extra attacker. Skeffel appeared to give the Jets a 6-4 lead at 18.46, but wild coach Dean of Aysen challenged the play for offside, and the call was reversed after a video review. We couldn't see him off the far side, of Aysen said. Actually, management, we were talking about it in the room and they said we never even thought about the guy on the offside and I don't think anybody did, but again, great call.